Marshall Lassiter and Rodney Brundial. Ball is up. Game 7 is on. This tip-off is presented to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. He was right there. Unlike in that play that we showed in the fourth quarter, he it was way up there. Kaya hindi siya masyado nakahabol. Ito na naman yung Beerman. They go inside to Brundial. To the cutting June Mar Fajardo. Abay! Pinagpag lang yung depensa. Three-point play ni Aaron Black. But this is what they'll have to stop. June Mar Fajardo doing work inside. Meaning, your best players, you want them on the court all the time. How about Brundial with his second assist? Ngayon naman si J. Perez, yung pinuntahan niya. Parang kay Cliff, I'm already hurt. Kanina pa ako bumabagsak. So, okay lang. Don't worry. Oh, Lasseter with his second triple of the game. But you gotta love how he's playing defense, trying to, you know, get good account of himself. But that time, na punta sa dun sa likod ni Junmar, he was not able to go around. Junmar, the new kind of feeding Junmar na ginagawa ng ina San Miguel, and they, it was CJ Perez feeding his big man. If you remember, shot ng Barangay Hinebra series, hindi ka ano pumunto sa si Cliffage. Wow, you can see Junmar Fajard really closing. That lane, hindi makasaksak yung mga guardia nito sa San Miguel. A move for CJ Perez. Off and running na naman si Haji. Feeds Almazan. Raymond could not get the layup. But on the second try, Cliff Haji, the energy source of Meralco. Almazan di na binabay ang bola, but obviously got uncomfortable there. And Cliff Haji knew that there was a chance that he may miss it. Went for that basketball, got the rebound and the foul. Miralco still looking to get going here. Hugnatan. How about Rene Hugnatan? Let's check out this next level move of the game presented to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Walang kakupas kupas. Zero of eight in game number six, Rene Hugnatan. Took majority of his shots from the three point area. Zero of seven from that three point area. Cruz, binabante ni Pasaol. Jericho, iwan kay Tautua. Spectacular start for SMB. They lead by 14 in this do-or-die game seven, one quarter in. Manuel, aatakiin si Jose. The one-hander for Vic. Make good, or to get good looks as well. Let's see this, the move by Vic Manuel. I'm talking about a one-hander. That could have made the, the false carry. Yes, or it could have even hurt the Motau too as well. That's true. Manuel, top of the key jumper, the muscle man. He's been chasing that PBA oh, title. Yes. Has yet to win a championship. And remember, Vic Manuel was with the Alaska Aces. Makapanalo rin ang kampionato. Pero syempre, itong Meralgo hindi naman basta-basta bibigay. However, they have to find a solution for the explosion of Super Marshall. Meron bang tinanggal itong Beerman sa opensa ng Meralgo? That's why the Bulls have only scored 14. Yeah, definitely. Pero malaki yung kalamangan ng San Miguel nun eh. Of 20 points after this pull-up J by Jericho Cruz. Everything clicking for San Miguel right now. Para kay Jericho, kahit dalawang minuto o kahit 20 minuto siyang maglaro dyan, ang importante magawa niya yung ipapagawa sa kanya at makapag-move on sila at makapaglaro pa this coming Sunday. Balik sa inyo. Ma makikita mo na lang. Remember, uh, the, this is not something new for players. This is yeah. not something new for San Miguel. Remember when Terrence Romeo came in, ganun din. Sa kanya parati yung bola in his previous teams but he had to buy into the system and he's won championships already with San Miguel. They're back in this game. Dose na lang hinahabol nila. First, it was this three from Quinto. Hodge to Black. AB knocks it down! Eight to nothing run of that timeout in the last one minute and 28, 20 seconds. Black looking to push it. No, some step back. Jumper over Perez. No doubt about it. Na yung trabaho ni Raymond or any of the Meralco bigs na pagahira, but nagagana hang ka if you're the bigs of Meralco kung yung mga guardia mo naman kaya kama kaya kama up with plays like this. Hodge and Manuel nagakaroon ng onting girean in the backcourt. They go inside to Fajardo. 
who finishes through the foul. And that's how big when Cliff Hodge is not there to help out defensively. Kasi si Cliff pwede bumantay na maliit, pwede bumantay na malaki. Simon and Ciso finding June Marfardo wide open there. Chris Newsom trying to help out. Dom, it took more than four minutes. Now, walang field goal yung San Miguel. Manuel looking for June Mar, gets in position. That was an excellent feed. Trinabaho niya yung depensa nitong si Kyle Pascual. Vic Manuel finding June Mar Fajardo. And there's just nothing else you can do there. Kasi hindi makakaset up na yung depensa. Ang ganda nung pagkasil nitong si June Mar Fajardo on Kyle Pascual. Easy too for June Mar. You'll be able to get into a game seven. You know how to deal with the pressure. You know how to deal with the calls or the non-calls. A minute and a half left. Sa ating second quarter. Oh, beautiful play there! Wow! The deception, the decoy. Everything was magic. They're posting up Vic Manuel there on the strong side. But then weak side action. Earlier on, it was June Mar Fajardo. This time, Jericho Cruz. Yung mga other big men ito, San Miguel, they're growing into passers with the presence of Fajardo. Remember, ngayon lang naman talaga na kompleto itong San Miguel. Ha? You know, they were coming off injuries, coming off uh, health and safety protocols. And that's what he needs to do. Either take that three-point shot, that time June Mar Fajardo wanting to challenge that shot. Nakita ni Reynel, okay, nag-commit ka. Attack that basket, getting the two points. Apat na puntos na para kay Reynel. 14 pa rin, yun lamang ng San Miguel. Ibe break down ni Dom kung ano nangyari in the first 24 minutes when we return. You know, I really feel that uh, you look at Meralco, that's something that they need to be able to do much better. 10 to nothing run, run. they were pushing that ball, they were quicker. Uh, but uh, if they slow it down or if they go to the pace of San Miguel, uh, hindi sila, mahihirapan silang makabalik. Nothing there, Almazan with the board. Nahanap si Malik si Alain. The pull up. There it goes. That's true. Hey, uh, up to this point, you shooting the Miracle is just at 28%. Four points now in the ball game. They're hoping that he, this can be a spark for them. Perez, tres ang gusto niyang sagot, and it's CJ from downtown. Kita mo si Hajo ready to help pagad nung sinusubukan ng San Miguel puntan si June Mar. At ito yung sinasabi natin kanina, John. Di ba yung difference? They were trying to go to June Mar. And the forward pass from Nusam. Ang ganda naman ng pasa ni Hodge kay Almazan. In the form of a big run, kahit dahan-dahan, basta bawasan ang bawasan yung lamang. Like this. The captain, the leader of Meralco, he will start to get more aggressive understanding penalty na yung Birmin. And you'll be able to get back in the game without really the clock moving kung makakapunta ka sa free throw line. Right? You can push that ball off a stop. Ito yung magandang bali ni Cliff Hodge kanina. Providing two points for Miralgo. Right? As compared to San Miguel. That's two free throws. Yung si Kuyata ni Vic na planta dun sa mukha ni Hodge. We'll see it here. Ay, yung dibdib. Si pag hindi dun sa transition or hindi dun sa fast break opportunity, mas maihirapan yun itong Meralco. How about Manuel? Lumapit na yung Meralco to within 12. But back-to-back -back attacks from San Miguel, this is sais na naman. And yun yung maganda dito kay CJ Perez. He's also leading the team, one of the top two uh, scorers for San Miguel. Pero ang dami rin assist nito si CJ Perez. Understanding the role that he needs to play on the strong side sometimes coming off the ball and his teammates are finding him. Pero ito talaga si Hodge. You would say na na-limit na siya ng Meralco eh, di ba? In previous games because we know he can dominate like he's dominating here in Game 7. Nag-collapse yung defense, di ba? Uh, ng San Miguel, or rather ng Meralco. Let's look at his layup first by CJ Perez extending this lead now to 18 points. Another 20-point lead it started out, Dom, sa depensa na naman. A couple of steals for the Beermen to help out. Perez with a steal again. CJ will deliver the deuce. You know, we talked about game number six, what happened in the last two minutes, defensive breakdowns. 
So far, San Miguel has been very sharp defensively. Sinimula ni Marshall Lassiter, remember, with his three three-pointers. And, you know, Cliff Hodge is almost the lone man entering the stage of the PBA. Tautua. Inurong lang yung depensa. Playing San Miguel basketball. Banquero with a steal. Pero natawagan pa ng stepping on the sideline si Banquero. And Ayun. yes, it was pretty clear there. Galing kay CJ Perez at kay Junmar Fajardo. Let's remember, yun yung dalawang leading in the race for the best player of the conference. Kaya binalik ni Coach Norman ito si Hugnatan. Lasseter could not hit it. But San Miguel recovers it. Fajardo able to score again. 23 na ang lamang ng San Miguel. Junmar has 21. Hugnatan breaks the silence of Meralco with the three. The third quarter. You just get some sort of good energy. Good energy meaning seeing that ball go through that hoop. Ross momentarily losing it. Had to put it up. Ross, no! Lasseter with a putback! They're up 17. It's a tough shot by Chris Ross. Then Marshall Lasseter going for that offensive rebound. Getting the putback and the foul. The conference of Meralco, if they're not able to work a miracle and climb back from this 19-point deficit. Pero ang ganda ng simula nila, quick basket. He knows that he had the advantage there. This is that pass of Alain Maliksi finding Almazan. Almazan able to score once again on that fast break. Being a recipient there of that good pass. Fajardo with a steal, the pitch to Perez. And CJ will slam that home! Pero dito sa fourth, dalawa na yung steal ni Abay. And the feed from his fellow big man from June Mar. Banquero hits a three. Kumpa 7 0 7 0, maybe a few of those. But San Miguel says, no, I don't think so. Jericho Cruz by eight points na rin. Banquero from outside. That's back to back threes for CB. It started with Banquero, Dom. Oh, back-to-back three-point shots by Chris Banquero. Pinahihirapan ni Cliff Hodge talaga ito si June Marfardo. Obviously, that's gonna take a lot out of Cliff Hodge. But, you know, you're gonna roll the dice already. That's three straight threes! Para sa Miralco! Able to get six points for Miralco. Then this time, Aaron Black capping off that 9-3 to three run para sa Miralco in the last one minute and 30. Black. Trying to extricate himself from Enciso. Newsom attacking Perez. Newsom scores! It's not that you can stop. It's not that 7 to 5 run, 7 to 3 run. It's not that you can You really need to make crucial consecutive stops. And off to Banquero. Almazan to Hodge! Beautiful ball movement for the Bolts. Ito si Cruz. Jericho putting some order back. Banquero, bigay kay Hodge. Challenges Junmar. Sabay iwan kay Almazan. You like how Meralco not breaking under pressure. It was a 16-2 to run that Meralco finished Game 6 with. At sabi, nga, sabi mo nga kanina, they gotta start earlier today. Mm -hmm. And th that's what they're doing, Dom. That is true. They're probably not gonna make that same mistake. Especially in the last two minutes. Hodge attacking, scoring. Cliff Hodge with 19 points. He's been aggressive going to that basket. He's been doing everything. He's been playing good defense. He's been helping his teammates. He's been going to the basket, making himself available. Aaron Black finding him once again. Cutting the lead to just 10. Five minutes and 23 left. The zone. Oh! Beautifully played by San Miguel. And this was... Dito kasi, parang nagkaroon ng onting miscommunication sa depensa ng Meralco. It's very uncanny. Chris Musa has missed three free throws already sa larong to. Sometimes though, you know, that's what the pressure of a Game 7 does to you. Vic Manuel, this is what we were talking about. Look at how strong he is getting the contact. Doesn't really jump all that high. 
Now look at the defense of Morocco trying to change it up. Cliff Hodge trying to double there and hoping that the defense, or the offense rather, of San Miguel would be bothered. Oh, Jumar with another offensive rebound and a putback. And he just towers tall about uh, above everyone. Uh, Jumar Fajardo, Jericho Cruz just looking so sharp right now. And then Ciso gets the breakaway layup. Uh, the supporters of San Miguel Beermen, they're starting to smell a finals appearance. Eto Miracle Bolts fighting with everything they can, but Simon and Ciso enjoying a pristine path to the hoops. Re-established some separation here. Newsom from outside hits the three. But Morocco's not done. And not, not giving up, diba? Yun yung importante. Hindi pwedeng papapabali ka na lang. But that's a backbreaker. Almazan, his three-pointer. Meralco has to go quickly here. Black providing two points. Uh, and itong San Miguel. You know, they've... How many Game 7s do they have? Ilang Game 7 experience na meron sila? You know, as a team, as a franchise, and they, these guys on the floor. Black. Hodge will have one more to say for Meralco. At ang ating final score is 100 to 89. Dito po sa Do or Die Game 7, our final score is presented to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA.